For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever. So he says, come to me. I said, well, who is it? He said, whosoever will let him come. I want the preachers, the teachers, the apostles, the saints that ain't let him come. Don't you separate the wheat and tear. I got that. Oh, you just open the door and oh, let them come. come. Oh, so who's coming? Everybody that dare will. Jesus. Let them come. Don't you shut them out. Don't you put a whole bunch of stipulations on them. Don't you put no rules and religious um, protocols on them. Don't you be the Sadducees and Pharisees. That stuff ain't work. The law didn't, it didn't work. I had to die, Jesus said. So they can have rest for their soul. So you let them come. Don't you block them. Whosoever will. Let them come. Amen. So I say in the topic that Holy Spirit gave, will you accept Jesus' invitation? Will you accept Jesus' invitation? I said, well, Lord, when we talk about this thing called a yoke, because I got to deal with some prime verses first and some prime words first, because me being the independent woman that I am, you know, life circumstances cause me to be a single mom, and when you learn how to do it yourself, that word submissive don't feel very good if I don't know your resume. So I need to know that you can handle me and my stuff, for I cause myself, call myself, go submit to your yoke. Because the yoke is being led willingly. And I said, well, God, we got to talk. Because uh, cause you know, last time I put my trust in man, Come on. it didn't work out so good. Oh, last time I put my trust in woman and let them leave me, it didn't work out so yes, good. Yes, then you yes. use me until you use me up and then want to throw me away Come because on. you couldn't do me like you wanted to do. Yes. So that joke didn't work very That's good. Right. That's right. He said, but I need you to check my resume. Come on. <laughs> I said, well, what's your resume, Jesus? He said, look at verse number 29. Okay. He says, uh, um, for I am, the latter part of 29, for I am meek mm -hmm. and lowly. Mm. I said, well, Lord, let's talk. What does this word <laughs> meek mean? He said, meek is gentle. I'm not going to hurt you. In uh, yeah. Matthew 11 and 29, he said, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm gentle. I said, this the yoke you want? Because see, Josiah, I think about a yoke when I think about my dog, Cookie. See, Cookie about 50 plus pounds. I don't know how big she is now, but I know she's bigger than 50 pounds. And we wanted to take Cookie outside, but there was some work we had to do in order to take her outside yeah, so she would right. not cause us to be at odds with our neighbors. Uh -huh. We had to make sure that Cookie would be able to mind her manners. We had to make sure that Cookie wouldn't go chasing after everybody in the neighborhood when we let her loose. Yeah. So there was some work we had to do. We had to put a little collar Joseph bought on Cookie. <laughs> and this little training collar will vibrate oh. when we're working with her. <laughs> and if she doesn't do what she's supposed to do or get in trouble, it will shock her. <laughs> and we don't want to shock her, but we need her to understand that what you're about to do is dangerous. Somebody over you. So we're talking about the yoke. This All morning, right. let's All deal right. with this verse, this word Woo! called yo. yo. Yes. There was many things that I wanted to give Cookie. I wanted to give my dog Cookie privileges, but I had to work with her first. We, all three of us, had to work with her, guide her. So when we let you loose, you know how to act. When we let you loose, you don't get the police called us. When we let you loose, you ain't going to go running in everybody's yard. So we have to work with her. That word yoke means to willingly. The way that God has given us that word yoke is to willingly guide. Matthew 11 and 28. He says, let's read that again in verse number 28. It says, come unto me. Matthew 11, 28. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Now, if I may take my time, I promise you I won't be before you very long. Amen. But in verse number 28, I want to break down just a few things. We said, come unto me. 
Not to my doctrine, <laughs> not to my denomination, uh, not to whatever my beliefs is, not to whatever things that uh, we do certain things. Because right. sometimes we get stuck in the customs and we miss the relationship. Oh, sometimes Ooh, we get on. stuck in how you look and then people can't Ooh, come with us because I don't look like you look. I don't eat what you eat. I don't sing how you sing. I don't dress how you dress. So that means I can't serve no God. But he said, don't no, come forget all that yoke. Because yeah, yeah. those are yokes. He said, I want you to forget all those yokes of lives. We tried to be good, and it did not work. Because I didn't do good trying to be good on my own. I messed that thing up every time. And I was every Sunday repenting for the same thing. Because I could not be good in my saying in my own strength. He said, I want you to forget all those yokes. All those things you put on you. Do it like mama said. Do it like daddy said. Do it like this one said. Dress like this one do. Do like that one do. It need to be long. It need to be white. It need to be black. It need to be this. You need to have a collar. Don't wear a collar. Do this. Forget all the yokes. And come. What is it? He said, forget all the yokes and come. I said, Lord, I need rest. He said, come. We'll deal with all the customs and the customs and the this and the that later on. That's not important. I just need you to come. Because sometimes, let me be honest with you, the job of walking in ministry and walking in leadership will get you so agitated the way you don't even want to do it anymore. Let me just be the one to clean the flow because it's easy yeah. that way. Yeah. Can I be honest about it? Yeah. That I had to ask God, Lord, are you sure this pastor and thing is for me? Because this show is a lot of work just to dress the uniform. My goodness. I'm like, Lord, I just want to say it. so. I just want to tell somebody. He said, you come. Cast all them yokes off. Take out the yokes. Because none of that going to save you at the end of the day. He said, not but the righteous shall see God. All these other things are the sign of our obedience. They come second. That's not first, it's second. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with the this and the that and the cousin off. They're all good in this place. But put it where it's at. That's second. Come. That's number one. Amen. Let's just deal with the come. Come. That's right. Come unto me. Come. He said in verse 28, come unto me. All you that labor. The word labor means labor. The definition of labor is the burden we take upon ourselves. Oh. I had to deal with that because a lot of it, apostle, wasn't the devil. It was labors I took on me. I was trying to be the savior. I was trying to help. People that would, didn't want to be helped. Come on, come on. That's right. Come on. I was trying to say, well, come on. Let's do this. Come on. Yeah. You can do this. Come on. God got you. No, no. I was trying to do Jesus' job. Come on. Come on. Right. Jesus. Well, let me be good enough. I don't want them. To, I don't want them to see that I cry and go through because I. I don't want them to, you know, think there's no, no, no. That God is weak. Now I was trying to do it all. He said that wasn't my labor, Michelle. That was your labor. Your labor. labor is what we put on ourselves. Jesus. So I'm giving myself permission to rest. All right. I'm giving myself permission to take the yoke off. And if I don't fit in your little box, so be it. God. In Jesus' name, my job is to please God. Jesus' name, I will not be able to sleep. 
people that need to be saved and we can't get past our yeah. customs because you believe different than I do. Jesus, Jesus. And you dress different than I do. And the devil is winning and people are dying. Yeah. And we lost yeah. sight of what the goal is. Yeah. 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 That's right. It's not about me. It's not about you. But it's about God's people. Right. People are hurting for real. Michelle, keep it simple. Tell the people, tell yourself to come. Don't you fit nobody else more. Don't try to be like nobody else. Stop pleasing people because you will never please people. You will never measure up. You will never be good enough to please them no way. They can't even please them. The Bible lets us know there's no good thing lie in the flesh. You will never measure up. Because they love you one moment. They hate you the next. They say Hosanna in one tongue and crucify him the next. So what makes you think if they didn't, if they didn't try to crucify Jesus and succeeded, what makes you think they don't like you? If your, if your joy stands on them liking you, you ain't going to never have joy. If your peace is about who club you in, who like your posts, who high five you, who invite you to preach, who said you can sing, you will never have peace. That's the word. That's the word. Because they'll be used by you, they'll be blessed by you of what God did do you, and still won't say that God used you. Because it's you. So we got to be all right. And just please and go. He said, come. All you that lay Which is the burden we took on ourselves. Because everything named the devil. I'll treat it high. He got me all out. Oh, 
happen is burdens that we let people put on us. God, if who did it, God did it. We let people put heavy labor on us. And this week, you know what? This ain't even the devil, y'all. We, the devil's on vacation. He ain't got to work hard. Because number one, we put labor on ourselves. And we let people put heavy laden on us. We do. We do that That's right. until we learn how to say no. No, Good. no, you can't call me at three o'clock in the morning to pray for you because we had noonday prayer Monday through Friday. No, you cannot call me. Uh -huh. Part of it. Amen. As Prophet Jonathan taught us wisdom, whatever you 
I need to do this. He can change up the diet, I'm change up now. this. Because that's my primary care physician. Yeah. Amen. He got access to me because I allowed him to be the lead over my medication and my medical records. Yeah. Over my medical planning. Yeah, I made a decision and chose that doctor because I like the way he thinks. Yeah. It ain't about medicine. It's about what you can do for oh, you to yeah. help you. And that's yeah. why I like this particular doctor. So when he tells me something, I take it as pearls because he's proven himself to be worthy of his position oh, in that life. Right. C was a 10 and he said I can help you. That's right. And by listening and letting him guide me through my medical journey, it went from a 10 to a 6. Because I had to let him be the yoke over my medical information. I just want us to understand what that yoke means. Yoke means I willingly allow you to guide me. Yeah. I willingly allow you to guide me. All right. And so let me pick up back with Cookie. Now that Cookie has learned how to behave, we can take her out. She don't have to be on the leash. Other dogs can go around there, but she will not run. She'll stay right there. Uh-huh. But just in case she forget, we keep it a little remote. Yeah. If she gets too far, come on back. <laughs> we give her that two-minute warning. <laughs> Do the little vibration. That's a warning shot. Don't make me shock you. Yeah. <laughs> She'll come back. Now she got privileges. She go walking with me. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Let's go. Amen. Amen. This is what God is doing. His yoke. We got to stop letting the world tell us salvation and our relationship with Christ is a yoke. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not that kind of yoke. Yeah. They think that it's a yoke. The world say you in prison. Come on now. The world say you bond down now. Yeah. You got to go to church. No, I get to go to church. Even when we have to discipline her, a lot of times we don't even have to, we just got to pick up the remote 
And she knows she done did something wrong. She done stopped right there. Amen. Now she's starting to get so good. Mom and daddy can come over there and she can be out of her kiddo and they'll say, sit. She'll look, wag her tail, and sit. <laughs> now she's learning how to have privileges. She don't know the better she accepts the yoke yes. willingly, yes. the more privileges is going to open up yes. for her. Yes. The more God's going to do for us when we yes. accept that yoke. God, yes, I got to make this decision. Yes. I willingly submit Lord, to your will. Yes. Oh, God. Lord, this seems hard. Yes. I take your yoke upon me. I'm learning of you. Yes. And so as I was in my prayer, I said, God, teach me how to submit to you. Teach me the beauty, just like all these privileges cookie have, God. Hallelujah. I want you to be able to trust me yeah. with more peace. Trust me Thank with more you. grace. Trust me, God. Hallelujah. I submit to your yoke. I tried in all other ways. I submitted to everybody else yoke, and it didn't work. Come on. Now, God, I submit to your yoke. I put your yoke around me just like the oxen and they put the yoke around the oxen to lead them That's and guide right. them or they put the bridle on the horse. Right. That horse know that owner's yes. not going to hurt him or her. They willingly let them put it on them. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. And this is what we willingly do. And it, it's not everybody's prayer, but it's my prayer. That's yes. God, I willingly submit yes. to you. I want your perfect will for my life. You've not messed up too much. I've not messed up too much. And if you think you have, verse 28 says, come to me. Come. I died for that. Come to me. But I messed up and I did this. And I did da, 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 da. Come to me. I allowed my son Jesus to die on the cross for your sin. He said, him that knew no sin became sin for us. He ain't know no sin, but he became sin. I, while you were yet sinners, Christ died. While I was yet sinning, Christ died for me. Even though I got the title of pastor, put the title aside, I still sin. I still messed up. I still error. I still got sin in him. And I'm yet come. I'm yet coming. And this is what, as leaders, we ought to be the most transparent. As uh, those that have been in church all your life, we ought to be the most transparent to say, I don't get it right, but I'm still coming. The prostitute said, well, why can't I come? Because I ain't worthy either, but because of him, I'm worthy. And guess what? While you are still sinning, he has already died. Every sin you gonna ever commit, every sin your grandkids gonna ever commit, Jesus has already died for oh, that sin. Jesus. He said, "All you gotta do is take my yoke, yeah. just like a necklace. Oh. I put it around me. Yeah. I submit humbly. I allow you to guide me. I allow you to lead me. Yeah. God, we thank you for your word today. Yeah. We thank you, Lord." We accept your invitation. We accept the yoke. Put your yoke on us. We take your yoke. For your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Why is your burden light? He said your burden is light because I'm going to go with you. He said, Lord, I will be with you always, even to the end of the earth. I promise you, my burden won't hurt. He gave me an illustration. He said a burden is like you picking up a two-ton tape and nobody see the other person on that end because he said that's how I'm going to walk with you. Everything I tell you to do, I'm going to help you lift it up. It used to be hard for you, but now it's going to be easy to forgive because you ain't doing it on your own strength. It's going to be easy for you to carry those burdens because I'm abiding under the shadow of the Almighty.
You start on that movie Lion King Mufasa. And little Simba, rawr. And little hyenas look like. Rawr. Simba said, rawr. Little hyenas said, oh, we about to have some lunch. Bone out for teeth. They lick in their paws and lick in their fingers. This about to be real easy. When Simba did that last rawr, Mufasa was standing behind.
Bible says that we're going to say that we're going to go ourselves see. Amen. Pentecost is coming up May the 26th to the 28th. Amen. And it will be in um, a part of Georgia. I forgot. Thomas. Thomasville, Georgia. Amen. So we'll be in Thomasville, Georgia for our Pentecost during that time. Holy on vacation is coming up July the 21st to the 23rd. Amen. And our annual installation where I will be officially being installed and along with other co-workers of the gospel. Amen. September the 9th. So we'll keep those announcements and let you know as they come. Um, we'll let you know what's going on. Amen. This Saturday, we'll be here for Sabbath for prayer. We'll also be cleaning up the yard. So those that are free, come join us at noon. Amen. So that'll be this Saturday. We'll also be witnessing. Amen. So just, amen. Keep us in prayer as we do what the Lord wants us to do. I'm sorry. Forgive me. This Saturday, we actually won't be doing that. Thank you, Co-Pastor. We'll be celebrating Co-Pastor's birthday. <laughs> At 1 p.m. at BJ Country Buffet. Okay, March the 24th, amen, which is our prayer and praise, amen. And so that's the first and fourth Friday prayer and praise at 7.30. Pastor Parker will be here as our guest uh, messenger on March the 24th on that, at that Friday at 7.30. Amen, we'll be here for Wednesday Bible study at 7.30. Amen. And this afternoon we will have communion. So we'll dismiss on the morning service. And those that would like to stay for communion and feet washing, you will be open to do so. Amen. So we're going to dismiss our online audience and then. Okay. We're going to dismiss our online audience. Amen. And let them know that the giving information is on your screen. Prayer line is open 24 hours a day for you. And we thank you for our social media audience for joining us.